Welcome to a new vlog. Today is slightly different in the mail because I will only be showing electronic components, cheap electronic components ordered from lcsc.com. They contacted me and asked if I would like to order some parts from their website and show them in a mailbag video. And if you are a subscriber of the channel, you've probably seen the JLC PCB ads on my videos as they are a sponsor of the channel. And you might not know, but behind the scenes, JLC PCB and LCSC are related. I know quite strange names they choose uh, there, but luckily there are short names easy to remember. So LCSC seems to be trying to be like the DigiKey or Farnell of China, and I think they're succeeding. Yes, they have uh, many problems regarding their website, which doesn't exactly make it easy for us to filter and find the required parts, uh, as we'll see in a moment, but they meet the minimum requirements and uh, it might be worth the trouble because you get access to a whole new set of chips and parts in general coming from Asia that you wouldn't normally find and all of this at very affordable prices. Another advantage is that you can bundle together your PCB order with your component order and have them delivered in the same package. That's a pretty neat idea considering that you find anything you could need in their inventory you could practically build an entire project with just a single order placed online. So I placed an order of four parts on the website to get a real feel of how their service works. And let me show you a few things I have noticed on their website and the ordering process. And then we can take a look at the parts I ordered. So this is how their website looks. You have the categories on the left and you can really find anything from passive to microcontrollers but let's try ordering some leds based on some parameters that we need and right from the start we notice there are just a few filters available in this category i think filters are very important i see them as the achilles heel of electronic components catalogs they can make finding your parts harder or easier so i need some amber leds uh, let's check all of these I need top side viewing. Let's uh, check in stock option as well. So we have 44 parts found. I very much like that they show you a picture of the device and they have this pop-up zoom widget that helps. Another thing that I like is the left portion with the picture and the pricing stays visible even if you scroll right to see some of the other parameters. And once you find something you like, you can open it you can check out the data sheet and add it to your cart. But what I would like to see is more parameters because I would like to filter for things like forward voltage or forward current. Now, if I know my circuit needs a 50 milliamp LED, I could filter for that and be left with five choices instead of going through 40 or 50 choices. And checking data sheets manually is not great. I honestly hope they will improve on their filters because this becomes even more important for categories like DC to DC converters, LED drivers, where there are a lot more parameters that you might want to filter for, but some of them are definitely missing. So once all the parts are added to your cart, it's really easy to check out, but I want to show you one more feature from the shopping cart. You can export the bill of materials, you can share it with someone else, let them order the same parts or just keep it for reference. I really like that and also in the checkout steps you can specify if you want uh, this parts order to be bundled with your PCB order and delivered together. That's a really nice touch. Like I mentioned earlier you could build an entire project with just a single PCB order. So here is the box that I received from LCSC. It seems uh, they put everything inside the single box, which is really nice. It seems they're using anti-static beds for holding the parts, which is really nice of them. I still have a local distributor here in Europe that ships parts in clear Ziploc bags, which I don't mind, but at a large scale, I'm thinking it could cause problems for ESD sensitive devices. So I'm curious how the labeling is done of the individual bags. That's important because you want to uh, easily identify your parts. You don't want scripting numbers and IDs. Ideally, you would want the part name, the value, the tolerance, and the most important parameter depending on the type of part. So in the, in the case of uh, LCSC, let's see, we get the quantity. Yep, that's good. We get the uh, 
package style of that respective component we get the part number and we get the description as well which is pretty much what you would want to see on on labeling this helps you quickly identify uh, this part in, in a box of uh, other parts when you're assembling your project for example so I got some uh, a bunch of uh, different LED drivers and uh, these ones in, in particular are very interesting uh, constant current drivers from OnSemi. They're super simple to use. They act like a constant current diode, basically a two terminal device that you insert in series with your string of LEDs and will regulate current. They come in a bunch of different variants with different uh, current settings and also different uh, tolerance levels. I wanted to uh, experiment with these to see how they handle power dissipation because um, this could potentially be uh, a very simple way of uh, properly driving LEDs uh, but the power dissipation uh, is dependent on the difference between the input voltage and the output voltage so you will need to size the uh, series LED string accordingly uh, to have less power dissipated in this uh, current regulating device. So I got a bunch of uh, LED drivers in here, a bunch of different models. Some are uh, switching step-down drivers that uh, feature some way of reading a uh, shunt resistor to regulate the constant current loop. And uh, I might do a video soon on these uh, LED drivers and uh, discuss them in a bit more uh, detail. I also got a bunch of uh, different LEDs. They should all be uh, orange or yellow color, um, but with slightly different specs in terms of uh, wavelength and uh, output. I want to experiment with these uh, orange LEDs to see if I can build some custom 12 volt automotive uh, LED bulbs, because the ones you can find on AliExpress are usually low quality, they don't last very long. And it would be a nice exercise and a nice video, I think, showing you how to uh, design a um, LED bulb. I also got a bunch of different uh, resistor values that I needed for, uh, for this project. Uh, I needed some odd values that are either not available at my local distributor or they might be too expensive. So uh, I got them from LCSC. I was also running out of uh, 10K0603 resistor, so I got another uh, 500. These should last me another couple of years. In here I have some um, small 0805 PTC resettable fuses. Uh, in this case, these are um, 750 milliamps rated uh, resettable fuses. And uh, these are the ones that I use on boards with USB ports. I like to add some protection by using one of these fuses. Like I said, rated for uh, 750 milliamps, which is plenty for the circuits I work on. In here, there are some small tactile switches because uh, lately I find myself designing smaller PCBs where space is an issue but uh, I still might need to add a, a small reset switch for example so I wanted to try out these uh, 4.2 by 3.2 millimeter uh, tactile switches so I ordered uh, 10 of them just to see how they work out for me as you can see a bunch of uh, LEDs a few different LED drivers as well as some miscellaneous stuff because like mentioned the plan is to build some 12 volt LED bulbs I don't know when I'll have time to design these but it's uh, one thing I would like to work on in 2019. One thing I noticed after logging back into the account at lcsc.com is that they offer similar process tracking as JLCPCB. So if you go to your order page, you can watch the progress as they prepare your order for shipping, which is pretty neat. And also in a similar fashion, you can reorder one of your previous orders with a single press of the button. So to conclude this video, I think the website has some pretty neat features and it offers access to a whole new market of components with very affordable prices. I'm sure they will continue to improve on the weak areas, which in my opinion are the product filters. So it will be easier for us in the future to find the required part. It has advantages over places like eBay or AliExpress because there is some traceability 
of the parts you're getting. They stand behind the, their products and their, they list their origins. You can also get technical info like data sheets. All of these things that are frequently missing from AliExpress or eBay. And best of all, you get your parts and the PCBs for your project in a single package. I highly recommend you visit their website. I think you'll be surprised on how many things you can find in their catalog. And if you like their PCB service, I'm pretty sure you will like what they offer on their component uh, service. As usual, you'll find links in the description below for all of the items shown in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.